So next presentation is by Braden Wake, who uh, starts new chapter. From now on, we will be talking about more intuitive aspects. So there will be only one potential engine surface, but it doesn't make it uh, less challenging. So there will be only one potential energy surface curve uh, for different situations. And Braden will start with um, matching, merging electric field and potential energy surface. All right, so I guess I'm pretty interested in modeling something similar to the infrared. It's across. hard to hear you. Can you speak louder a little bit? So I was interested in modeling something uh, similar to infrared spectroscopy. So, you know, infrared spectroscopy works uh, off the normal modes of the molecule. So, uh, in the most simplistic settings, say you have like an H2 molecule that vibrates on one axis. So, it's very easy to model this in one dimension. So, uh, we all know the harmonic oscillator potential, uh, which I generalized to be offset from zero. Uh, in reality, of course, you can have dissociation of molecules, so it's not Truly, the harmonic potential is an anharmonic potential, but I've shown that on the right, but I've ignored it and worked with simply the harmonic potential. Um, <clears throat> so, to model the electric field, um, we've done the linear dipole approximation. Um, and so, that's shown on the top line there, where it's proportional to the charge, the offset, and uh, it oscillates in time. So, I've attached the, uh, the cosine function to it with some driving frequency. Um, and I've reduced the amplitude of that, the Q and the, uh, the factor, to just A, the simplicity. Um, and of course, the electric field is proportional to the, the displacement. So we can rewrite the displacement in terms of raising and lowering operators just to kind of tie back to class a little bit. Um, so what is the overall Hamiltonian? Okay, it's just an addition of the kinetic energy, the harmonic oscillator, and the electric <laughs> Okay, so what I did is I took different situations of driving frequency. So I set the intrinsic harmonic oscillator potential uh, to a frequency of one. Again, this is a very generalized system as well. Um, so what I've done is I've taken the driving frequency fraction uh, with the intrinsic frequency. So you can see 0.3 is uh, three tenths of the uh, intrinsic frequency. Um, and so I've run that. Uh, and as you can see, there's a nice peak when the driving frequency is equal to the intrinsic frequency, and we call that resonance, um, which is exactly how infrared spectroscopy works. Um, and as you get closer and closer to the resonant frequency, you can uh, a better transfer of energy from the electric field to the wave packet. That's kind of how you can interpret that, um, or a more efficient absorption. Um, so, visualize that. So here we have uh, an electric field frequency of non-intrinsic frequency of the harmonic oscillator. Um, and so you can see the energy absorption based upon the, the height of the wave packet on the, on the plot with respect to the bottom of the well is roughly constant. And so the absorption of energy from the electric field is minimal. And so now we run the same simulation uh, with or at the resonant frequency. So the scaling is kind of weird, but you can kind of see by the broadening of the, uh, of the potential that the wave packet is traveling upward. Okay, so a, a good way to analyze this, uh, or the most simple way I should say, is to take a look at the, if you, if you run it for a long time, you have sort of a maximal energy absorption, uh, so it's like a saturated uh, a wave packet, then it kind of falls back down and restarts again. So it does this in waves, as you kind of saw in the very first plot. Um, so if you take the maximal energy and you plot it uh, against uh, the driving frequency or the, the frequency ratio in this case, um, you get this plot. And this coincides very nicely with the 
classical resonance theory, which simply dictates uh, when these two are the same, you have a maximum. And that's pretty much okay. Let's thank Brendan.